In this video, we'll walk you through the steps to control the Yuhi Diva plugin with your Roly instrument. You'll first want to open up Roly Dashboard and adjust your MIDI settings. Let's verify the following. MIDI Start Channel is 1 and MIDI End Channel is 16. Use MPE is off and Pitch Bend Range is set to 48. Now, let's open up Diva inside of your chosen DAW. The first thing we'll want to do is set Diva's Pitch Bend Range. In the panel labeled Tuning, set the boxes labeled Up and Down to 48 semitones. After setting these, it's a good idea to lock them to avoid any unwanted changes. You can do this one of two ways. For Windows devices, right-click on the box, and for Mac, Control-click on the box. You'll see a lock option appear once you do this. Let's set up Diva to respond to slide. For this example, we'll demonstrate one of the most common slide assignments, filter cutoff frequency. First, click the gear icon in the upper right-hand corner to open the settings panel. To ensure you've assigned all available MIDI channels properly, you'll want to enter into each one manually to respond to slide, or MIDI CC74. To do this, select the MIDI table icon here. This is where you'll be able to view any assigned modulation you've set up. Click Add at the bottom of the screen and enter the following settings. Under Parameter, hover over VCF1 and select Frequency in the list that appears. The channel box will automatically start at 1, so move to the controller box and drag up until it reads 74. You'll need to do this for all available channels that your Roly instrument can send messages through. This makes sure that every note you play will respond to slide modulation correctly. Repeat this process for channels 2 through 16. When you're finished, it should look like this. Once you've completed this, you're now good to go. You're now ready to get lost in Diva's synth soundscapes.